So I just wanted to say something right quick, right? Not to give up too much tea. Yeah, that shit pissed me off earlier, but whatever, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. So the consultation that I had yesterday um, basically confirmed a lot. First of all, I said you can't kill a Scorpio God. Meaning you can't kill Anubis. Anubis is like my uncle, okay? You ain't got to believe it. Fuck it. You don't believe it. Don't fucking believe it. And um, so Anubis comes out as the king of swords. Anubis comes out as death. And Anubis comes out as judgment. I am also, I come up as the high priestess. I come up as the empress. I come up as uh, sometimes, very rarely, the king of, the queen of wands. Sometimes I come up as the queen of swords because of my Aquarius moon. Sometimes, I, but a lot of times I come up as the queen of pentacles. But I, I, I come up as that fucking high priestess a lot. But you know who the high priestess is in the tarot? Uh, that would represent, like I said on my live stream, Divas of Devilment. That would represent Kendall St. Charles, a.k.a. Brooklyn Blue. Now you won't believe what came out. Uh when I pull some when I I didn't I don't pull cards. So what happens is I get my card deck out and I shuffle them and then bad boys fly out. I don't the only time I pull a card is if it's sliding out on its own and then I'll just pull it out if cuz it wants to come out or if it flips over in the deck as while it's in my hand and I pull it from the deck cuz it's flipped over and it's faced up face up or if I split the deck and I just flip a card over, that's right there. That I do it different ways depending on how I'm being led to do it. So I did a shuffle yesterday and guess what came out? The high priestess with the fucking death card. Ding dong, the witch is dead, the witch is dead, the witch is dead. That's what started playing in my head. Now I had already made this motherfucking prediction. And it came out in the cards. Alright? It came out in the cards. That's why I said, if they want to try me, I'll pull that pendulum out and y'all can see that shit live on camera. If they ever come out lying, talking about they didn't do that shit, they wasn't about that shit, that's not what they was doing, get in contact with me and my email and I'll do a fucking pendulum reading on the bitches. And y'all can judge for yourselves because it even came out in the fucking cards. And I mean, it came out in multiple decks. Multiple decks. I had them cars out for about an hour and a half. And it just kept repeating, repeating, repeating the same energy of destruction for these kinds, these people. These divas of devilment, right? Okay, yeah. So, I just wanted to say that little tidbit. I got, I cannot disclose that particular reading, right? because that's private but i don't mind putting pulling out the pendulum and what i think i'm gonna do i'm gonna see what spirit says the spirit not really giving me the green light on that just yet but i'm gonna see what the energies do because right now we got mercury and aquarius and you got to be careful with what the fuck you're saying right now okay Matter of fact, I told somebody yesterday they need to look at their Mercury placement. And I didn't even know Mercury was in Aquarius yet until today. So I told them they need to look at their Mercury placement, their third house energy. And so long story short, a whole lot of confirmation came out. I have not checked my email, y'all. So if y'all email me, I have not gotten it yet. I got to take some days off because Spirit has been... Uh, warning me over and over and over uh, that I need to take some days off. They will let me do little short, little short messages like this if I need to just make a little announcement. But other than that, they've been telling me to take some days off because, um, I need to catch up on my energy renewal. And uh, so yeah. I'm going to see what Spirit says, but if I need to, I'll do a reading on these chicks. I'll do the pendulum and I'll do the cards. If I, I mean, it's nothing but a thing. You know, you know, because you know my fucking readings have come out to be fucking true. <laughs> I said, I said old girl was dirty and now you got motherfuckers getting hush money. Meaning Nipsey Hussle's baby mama and you know the famous baby mama. 
I said she was dirty. Alexa said she was dirty. A whole lot of people said that shit. Now, now niggas done got paid hush money to help clean up her fucking image and reputation. Okay. So why would, why would people be all of a sudden recanting if we aren't right about what the fuck we said? So if we're reading celebrities right, we can damn sure read some raggedy bitches that be scamming. Okay? Okay. It's just like somebody I did a reading for. I told them their money was going to be all right. They family got a whole lot of fucking money. I told them that. I said, y'all got ten of pentacles. And then some money dropped out the damn sky for the family. So people like us, we may not have huge platforms. Like we not may not be sitting up here with half a million subs, a hundred thousand subs, two hundred thousand subs, or whatever. But we're real people. We're real mediums. We're really gifted. We're really real psychics. We're real seers, mystics, sages, magicians, occultists whatever you want to call us okay i won't say whatever you want to call me because i go by specific things i'm not a witch okay i'm a magician slash occultist that's the title that was given to me by my guides i'm not a witch uh i have high priestess energy but that's for my bloodline that's not because i pledged as a high priestess for anybody in this life i don't know what happened in all my past lives i haven't been able to see them all yet but i also do um past life readings for others and i've been able to pick up a lot of information and a lot of you people that are subscribed to me the reason why you have been led to me is because you're connected to me somehow not a lot of you but there's strategic one there's certain ones of you that have been led to be under the sound of my voice and to be listening to me and you got some kind of connection with me from a past life I, that's been coming out not just for one person for multiple women that listen to me there's some kind of connection and they're all very spiritually gifted, okay? They're all spiritually gifted. So, uh, just do not underestimate the spirit realm. And I'm going to just leave that like that. I don't want to um, be bothered with talking about these people no more. The diva's a devilment. Uh, but if I have to, then I, you know, if it's something that spirit says, okay, and you talk about this, I will do what spirit says because I don't want to be punished and I don't want to upset my spirit guides. And they bless me so much that I'm not going to, you know, if it's reasonable, I'm not just going to be disobedient and say no. But other than that, um, I just prefer to keep on doing my work. You know, I just prefer to keep rolling forward and, and, and just leave it like that. But if it ever comes down to it, I will do a fucking reading. So they know I have these capabilities. They they know that my shit is accurate too. So that's why they're quiet as church mice because they know that I will pull that pendulum out and them spirits will, will expose some real shit. And they also know that I'm clear audience and that not only will you see the pendulum revealing shit, I'll be speaking shit just like I did in my live stream that actually is true. Hmm. Sometimes you just have to let people know what time it is. You don't, I mean, like I said, it's not about knocking nobody's so-called brand, but you fucking with, you fucked with a wrong, you fucked with the wrong one. And just like I told Rotting Tree Stump, she fucked with the wrong one too. And you're not supposed to touch God's anointed. You're really not supposed to fuck with them. And I know people, people judge a book by its cover. People are, people like me are unassuming and people try us and they and as before we know who we are the dark side knows who we are that's the important thing to remember before we know who we are the dark side knows who we are okay lucifer himself had to acknowledge me baby so what the fuck is lilith gonna do for you against me again you heard me speak on that on my old channel cosmic jewels and i repeated that on this channel about how Lucifer had to acknowledge me. So your your Lilith can't do anything. As a matter of fact, it's really interesting because a lot of these dark goddesses are not even able to help anybody. They're bound right now, just like some of the watchers are. So unless you're unless you're portaling in to see them, which is the way a lot of these elites get to talk to the watchers the ones in the outer limits that i talked about in my documentary video unless you're portaling in through a certain type of device or time traveling like that teleporting 
you're not able to talk talk to goddesses like Hecate. Maybe psychically you might be able to talk to them, but they can't actually help. Now, Lilith, in my opinion, I think a lot of people invoke her energy, but I don't believe she's helping very many people at all. I don't believe she has a I don't believe she has an ability to help right now because she's I'm not even gonna go there. Just don't let these people fool you to think that these demonesses are helping them like that because they're really not. I'm not going to say who is and who isn't because that's that's tea that's not to be disseminated for the masses of uh, psychotic bitches that watch me. The dark ones that watch me because they're drawn to my light and they're vampires and they want to get information and then they take it to their channel and they use it against people. I'm not going to say who is able to help and who isn't. I'm just saying some a lot of these demonesses are bound right now and a lot of the worst of the fallen are not even able to help their so-called followers. So I don't know who else might be helping you. Maybe you're being tricked. Um, maybe, which is typical, you're just being delusional. But Lucifer had to acknowledge me. Lucifer had to work to get to me. So, like I said, ain't no black bitch from Brooklyn or from Cali or anywhere gonna do shit to me that don't that they don't have permission to do. All right, and you need to stop letting them try to scare y'all, okay? No matter who you are, stop letting these motherfucking demons on your job scare you. Stop letting them demons in your family scare you. Stop letting a demon fucking neighbor bother you. You got to get in your power, baby, because if you think it's real now, you just wait. Give it a year. <laughs> Give it a fucking year. That's what Spirit says. Give it a year. You think it's real now? In the, in, in the astral plane and with the warfare? Give it a year. Hmm. Well, Lucifer said, this was a couple years ago. He was like, Cause I could feel, uh, I could feel his presence and I could hear laughing and I was like, he, I was like, he doesn't usually come around me and I didn't understand why, but I was actually channeling some information. I was like, um, I had listened to one of Alexis's reads where she was talking about Atlanta. It was one of her older reads from like 20... 18 where she talked about Atlanta I think it was the Atlanta Super Bowl reading she did and Lucifer had made a comment about that and was like um yeah we are fucking up black men and I that was on my old channel Cosmic Jewels I still have that recording mm. I'll probably have to I'll just have to upload it on my podcast because I can trans I can um changes it from a like a blackout like what i'm doing now to an audio only file and upload it on the podcast but i don't want to do all the work involved to to put it back on my on this channel but i mean i could i mean i'm gonna have to go and see what the file format is i think it might be mp4 yeah i think it might be no it might be mp3 format i'm not sure it might be mp4 but either way um he was basically like, look, you're going to answer me because I had to get permission from your father in order to even speak to you. So you're going to answer me. And getting your respect right now. <laughs> respect the name, bitch. You're going to listen. I'm going to tell you verification of what you've said, of what Alexis has said. He didn't say Alexis by name, but he said, yes, I'm going to tell you and you're going to listen. And you are going to repeat it. And that's just that. And, and when I was like resisting his energy and I was like in my spirit, I was like, no, the fuck I'm not. You get the fuck up out of here. I'm not, I'm not answering and saying nothing. I'm not repeating nothing. You got to say, you know, I don't pass no messages for you. And as soon as I said that shit, your Lord have mercy. The pain in my chest and my back was fucking horrible. I recorded all of that shit on audio. It was horrible. Like, and that's what they will do. They will inflict you with physical pain if you don't. If they've if they've gotten access to you, and you refuse to pass their messages, they will inflict physical pain on you. All right, and 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 the pain will get worse and worse and worse and worse until you do what they say and as soon as i finally said okay fine fine just let me get off of me god damn get get off my back fine i'll say it 
that's when the pain magically just disappeared. And then I could like, my spirit could see him smirking like, uh-huh, I thought so. And then after he said what he had to say, he left me to fuck alone. He was like, no, uh, no, bitch, you're going to say what I had to say because I had to get special permission to speak to you. Because see, if I was dealing with those kind of energies, he wouldn't have had to get special permission, would he? So, in other words, Lilith ain't going to do shit. Lilith, Lilith is, Lilith's hands are tied. I'm going to just leave that like that. Lilith's hands are fucking tied. She 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 can manipulate uh her the people that are open to her energetically and psychically and behaviorally, but she can't actually she's not like walking around out here free, is what I'm saying. Alright, I'm gonna just leave that like that. So don't let these bitches trick you because you're burning offerings for nothing. <laughs> okay. You're burn the motherfuckers can't help you. They're still bound. That's the purpose of devices like CERN. They want to let a lot of these things free. All right. There are certain ones that are not going to be released until the appointed time, just like the Bible says. Okay. They're not out here like that. You know, so you got people worshiping them. Oh, well, it's almost like you holding a vigil for a motherfucker to get out of prison and he still got 30 years to go. Like, okay. You are really just wasting your time. He ain't going to be out to goddamn 2050. I mean, you're really just wasting your time. Oh, well, you know, well, you know, I, 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 that's my goddess and I'm dark and, I, and, 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 the motherfucker's in prison. And I don't be trying to give up too much tea, but you know, shit, I speak in code when I'm told to speak in code, right? Hmm. You will find that the majority of us that are the real, real serious deal, like me, Alexis, I learned about this lady that I had never heard of, you know, and some other ladies out there. When I observe them, I'm like, okay, these are the real deal type of women, right? Black women with these serious gifts. You will notice that none of us have big platforms and pretty much none of us are monetized, okay? You will notice that. So it's really important. If you vibe with people like me to support the people with donations, okay, and, um, or, you know, whether that's Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, you know, support their services if they have readings for purchase or products, it's important because people like us do get tired and it is a lot of energy and this is a, this is not a life, this is not just a life and a soul mission for people. It's a life and a soul mission for the spiritual realm and many different bloodlines, okay? Many different lineages um, work with us and work through us. So it's important to um, not only have, not only honor these ladies and there are guys too, but I don't know too many guys that, you know, I don't know too many guys that are into it, but there are guys, but the point is, whether it's a man or a woman or whoever, um, or even, you know, asexual or uh, non-binary. It's important to honor them, especially when they have the right spirit and when they've been proven to be accurate and things have come together from what they've said and they're not just bullshitting people. It's important to do that because these are the anointed ones, these are the gifted ones, and these are the ones that the world will look to for guidance. All right? The world is already looking to us for guidance. You have no idea how many people be watching people like me, Alexis, and other ladies out there. Like, you have no fucking idea how many thousands of people watch us. I'm heavily shadow banned, so I don't have no idea who be watching me. I don't even do readings like that on this channel. But I will be on my other channel, my Starfire Alchemist. But people have, you know, learned about me a lot through different things and through a lot of the predictions I made for shit happening last year so while I might not be doing actual readings all the time I make predictions a lot and they come to pass sometimes the very night sometimes the very next day now I was wrong about Trump winning but 
that's all right. Sometimes you, you win some, sometimes you lose some. It's not about winning or losing per se, but sometimes you're right, sometimes you're wrong. But um, again, the high priestess card and the death card came out. I told her if she didn't stop, she was going to die within six months. That death card is number 13. Didn't I say that she had Kendall St. Charles of Brooklyn Blue had the number 13 attached to her? I showed you that in that video, I'm not a star. It said the number 13 or the number 4 is a karmic debt number. She's got a lot of karmic debt. I told you that if she didn't stop, she was going to die within six months, right? Okay. That's all I'm going to say about that shit. That's all I'm going to say about that shit. <laughs> If somebody wants me to do a reading, you can send me a donation if you want me to do a reading on her. Or not on her, not just on her specifically, but on the situation, on the divas of divestment or divas of devilment topic. If you want me to do a reading, just hit me up in my email. I'll do it for a donation. Um, you know, a donation of, uh, I say, I'll do it for a donation of $20 if somebody wants me to look into it. All right, because I already know what's gonna come out, so you know it don't have to be a whole bunch, but um, I'll do it for that. I'll do it for that. Other than that, you know, we'll just see what happens. We'll see what happens. That's all I got to say. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. Have a good one.